Welcome to Starbase Pink. This is your daily space and SpaceX news. Let's start the video with the next Falcon 9 launch. SpaceX is now targeting Thursday, August 4th for Falcon 9 launch of the Korea Pathfinder Lunar Orbiter, aka Danuri, from Space Launch Complex 40. The Lunar Orbiter arrived safely, now the team preparing it for launch. And the Moon Orbital insertion is planned for December 16th this year. Today at Starbase launch site, SpaceX team working on the chopsticks, stacking and catching system. At the build site, Super Heavy Booster 8 lifted and moved next to Booster 7. Maybe Booster 8 asking Booster 7 if it hurts when they change the downcomer and B7 replying, yeah, I'm in pain pretty much all the time. All thanks to La Padre for the amazing live coverage. Let's talk now about Artemis 1. Commander Monique and Campos installed into Orion spacecraft. He will measure the acceleration and vibrations that future Artemis 3 and 4 astronauts will experience and the splashdown moment too. Named after Arturo Campos, who played a major role in saving the Apollo 13 crew. And this is China's Long March 5B upper stage debris re-entering Earth atmosphere today at 4.51 p.m. UTC. It was an uncontrolled re-entering, looks to be near Brunei. And we have the confirmation from the US Space Command. Last year on SpaceX Pink Channel, I talked about one of the new space companies, Stock Space. They are building a fully reusable rocket. The first stage will land after 15 minutes and the second stage after 38 hours, according to this animation, of course. They have a very, very talented team. They designed and tested the thrust chambers, oxygen turbo pump and fuel turbo pump. And this is the second stage engine. Looks so cool and complicated too at the same time. And here we can see the hydrogen oxygen rocket test facility last year and this month. Let's talk about the two founders of Stock Space. Andy Lapsa spent 10 years at Blue Origin as propulsion engineer. He was BE4 thrust chamber assembly design lead and BE4 development test lead. And Thomas Fieldman spent six years at Blue Origin 2 as BE4 thrust chamber lead designer and senior proportion design engineer for the BE4 oxidizer boost pump. I will keep an eye on stock space for you. And talking about the BE4 engines, Tori Bruno shared this picture of the completed BE4 flight engine. This is the first one for Vulcan's first flight. And here we can see the first engine on your left and the second engine on your right. But the second one is not fully assembled yet. Let's talk now about Russia leaving the International Space Station. I heard a lot of people talking about Russia leaving the International Space Station in 2024. And this is not true. Why? Because Yuri Borisov uh, said to Putin, that Russia will leave the International Space Station after 2024, not in 2024. Means maybe 2025 or maybe 2030. And that's the retirement date for the International Space Station, retirement year. So you never know, maybe 2040, maybe 2050. So Russia will not leave the International Space Station in 2024. That's for sure. That's it for today. I hope you enjoyed the first episode of Space and SpaceX News. See you tomorrow.